Hey, hi, kids. Whoops. There, got it on the right screen. <laughs> Whoa, hi, kids. It's Mr. Larry, and I've got a kind of a funny story today. Uh, hope you like it. Uh, it's called, Where Have You Two Been? Hmm. Yeah, I've heard that a few times in my life. Maybe you have too. Hmm? Yeah. So it's written by Neil Griffiths and illustrated by Jeanette Loudon. Yeah. And up here on the top, on the on the top side on the left, if we look over there. Yeah. I can see it on my screen. I don't know if you can, but it's got a really nice dedication. This book is dedicated to Megan, a wonderful person who is devoted to her life, who has devoted her life to making children and their families feel so much better. Hey, that's nice. And that's by Neil. He wrote that. He's the author. And then the illustrator had a dedication too. And she says, this is for Isaac, Elliot, and Madison. And that's from Auntie Jeanette. How very nice. Okay. Are you ready to read? What do you think? Shall we do it? Let's go. Race you home, cried Prickle. You don't stand a chance, boasted Aunt Larry. <laughs> so they've got names, don't they? Bet I'll beat you, said Prickle, hopefully. I bet you won't, replied Aunt Larry, confidently. Right, we'll see. On your marks, get set, go. Woo, look at that. Aunt Larry leaped into the lead and galloped off through the clearing. Prickle trotted behind him as fast as his little legs would carry him. Antlery headed on across the meadow and dashed out of sight. Prickle struggled his way through the long grass. Oh, golly. Antlery took the shortest route under the low branches of the horse chestnut tree. Oh, but this was his undoing as his antlers got thoroughly tangled. Prickle's tiny feet crunched their way over the woodland floor. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Once untangled, Antlery bounded over a garden hedge and lost his way in a long line of washing. Oh, somebody hung their clothes out to dry in the sun. What a good idea. <gasps> and Antlery got caught in them. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, in the meantime, Prickle scampered through a hole in the hedge and daintily tiptoed through the flower beds. Hmm. Antlery ran round and round in circles until he could finally see again <laughs> and headed for the gateway. Prickle dodged Antlery's hooves and headed for the gateway too. Antlery sped down the hill towards home. <laughs> Prickle took a deep breath, curled up tightly into a ball, and began to roll faster and faster until he eventually overtook Antlery. Caught right up. Whoa! Antlery was beginning to slow down, worn out by the weight on his antlers. And then Prickle began to slow down too as he caught more and more leaves on his spines. Oh, look at him go, yow. But neither could stop until... Bang! They both collided into the old oak tree. Whambo. Oh, my golly. I hope they'll be all right. And where have you two been? Asked two startled mothers. Yep, there's Mama Deer and Mama Hedgehog. Oh, where have they been? Nowhere, came the reply from the dazed pair. Boink. Well, I'm not sure their mothers quite believed them. Do you believe them? What do you think? 
and that's kind of another take on a story I bet you know from, oh goodness, long ago, yeah? Aesop's Fables, Tortoise and the Hare, and a few cartoons on TV, hmm? Yeah, that's the age old story. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And let's get together another time. Right now, I'm going to go out and play in the snow. And I hope you will work hard, study hard, and play hard too. If you've got some snow, go enjoy it. If you've got sunshine, enjoy that. Whatever. Let's all get out there and be very friendly, very happy, and very nice to everybody we meet. Huh? All right. Peace and love. See you again soon. Bye bye.